Hey everybody! Welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Oh, that's not a good frame rate right now. That'll change. That'll change! One of these days, it's a freaking, it's a Skype message from Alpaca Patrol that says, it doesn't even say I know right. It says IKR. You understand the, the, how valueless that expression is? And you're killing my frame rate over that? What's the point? Are we, are we good? No, it still looks pretty framey. There we go. We managed to get out of the Sam Framey director of the Spider-Man and Evil Dead films. Okay. Dead Sea Scrolls, rules card, safety pin, really good shot speed maybe. Unless that's range, it's probably range. S06R, PQKL. Um, yeah, okay, actually rate of fire seems pretty solid as well. At least compared to what we were dealing with for pretty much the entirety of the last run. Now we are in the cellar here. Fear the cellar. Fear Dead Sea Scrolls as well. Which has a tendency, it's like Lion's Lock, you know, 11B, subsection 8. Um, if you use Dead Sea Scrolls and you need it to not be kamikaze, it'll be kamikaze. So we're just gonna maybe try to get this boss fight done as soon as possible so that we don't have to deal with this shit. We'll use our rules card here as well. Really, really productive use of the rules card, but the rules card never is productive. The best thing it can tell us is that Chubb dislikes smoke. Um, which at this point gets me some extra laughs. Indirectly that helps out my career and uh, fantastic. We, we all, uh, you know, live our lives. Instead we get some doors require a blessing. I'm assuming that that's a reference to Dad's key. Maybe we'll finally figure out the trick to fight Mega Satan. I'm 99.99, 100% joking. Synth Oil, good pickup. Really good damage here right off the bat. And again, that's what we struggled with on our last run. So be able to take care of that early is uh, is really good. I don't know why. <laughs> Do we have some kind of like special curse or something here? It really seems like every time we go from room to room, it, the game gets weirdly framey. I don't know what's up with that, but it's running fine within the rooms themselves. So I'm, I'm not too bent out of shape about it. What happened to your new computer, Northern Line? Oh, there we go. That's what I was waiting for right there. Was the game to slow down to two frames per second. And we'll hopefully figure out what's wrong with this suit. That's This is even slower than usual. Um, my, my computer parts are here, with the exception of the case. Which is why the computer parts are still in a box on my apartment floor. Hmm. What's going on, Isaac? You are back to normal? Alright, well... That's fine. I <laughs> just don't do it again, okay? You, I'm glad you apologize, but don't do it again. Maybe we'll be able to sneak our way into the curse room. Oh, all is forgiven. Maybe we'll be able to sneak our way into the curse room uh, via the secret room if we get another bomb. But in case you are merely watching, or sorry, merely listening, you are missing out because we just got Death's Touch. I'm excited by this new prospect. Maybe a secret room with bombs inside of it? No, just money. It's a bit of a tight one. I'm thinking we go to the curse room. For fun, and because we already have good damage. And we see what we get inside. It's a red chest containing three flies. Then, we use Dead Sea Scrolls. And it's, uh, like Game Kid. I used it there because I wanted, if it was Kamikaze, I wanted to get the charge done. But I wanted to take damage on a floor that wouldn't fuck up our deal with the Devil Chance. And if it wasn't Kamikaze, maybe it's Book of Revelations. So I want to have that done uh, on this floor so we have the Spirit Heart to back us up. For the next floor. But uh, mostly I was like, well, we stand a much l greater chance of not taking damage as a result of having picked up Death's Touch. So, uh, I think we're we're in a good position there. Not to say we can't take damage, but, I mean, we are in the cellar, but we're also very, very strong right now. Our item room on floor two is Ludovico Technique. Uh, I'm of two minds about this on the start. I think it's going to make it a little easier to take damage, weirdly enough, but I'm not thinking about just the short term here, I'm thinking about the long term, and I'm thinking about the absurdity as well, and uh, I'm thinking about my doorbell, when you're gonna ring it, when you're gonna ring it, ring it, and I'm thinking uh, that Ludovico Death's Touch is a really nice combination that I'm quite fond of, so let's, uh, let's make the best use of this that we possibly can, still looking for Tinted Rocks even though we don't have bombs, it's just a good practice, you know. Ooh, that was very, very close. We're gonna have great damage right off the bat here, and you know, beyond that, we're actually able to move this tier pretty nicely, which is not something you can always say about Ludovico Technique runs. We will have a deal with the Devil coming up. I don't even know what I want at this point. I just want to get something that... Or I don't want to get something that changes our tier uh, effect. You know, that like shielded tiers or fear matter... Sorry, dark matter 
fear shot would make it so that we uh, we lose the scythe, and then our Ludo tier would be smaller, and as a result, we wouldn't have as wide of a spread on it. So that might be a good reason to not take Dark Matter if it shows up, but it would give us a damage bonus, so it's a trade-off. But let's worry about that when it actually comes up. I think Ludovico Technique is an absolutely fantastic counter to the Haunts. Although I did take some damage anyway. At least it was from Little Haunts instead of Big Haunts. We'll just stay on the complete opposite side of the map. And just rake in this one back and forth. Like a gardener. And this is not going to have any chance to hit us. Again, at least. Oh my god. Well, I, I appreciate the speed. I really do. We got Game Kid again, I think. That's funny. Uh, I appreciate the speed, but I'm very disappointed that we, unfortunately, have found ourselves in a situation where we will not have to deal with the Devil Precedent. That's fudged up. We will go to our Curse Room again. Thank God I didn't walk into the fire there, even though we're going to lose the Spirit Heart either way. I want to do it on my terms. Gosh darn it. Guppy's Collar. This is something that we're interested in. We got a Guppy item. Happy to have it. I'm not going to worry too much about the red heart, although I probably should. And now we're in pretty much exactly the same position going down to the next floor. We want to not take damage and pick up an eternal heart as soon as possible. That was the sound of my straw sucking ice. I don't know why I wanted to frame it like that, but it sounded good. Sorry if my mouse pointer was on the screen for a while there as well. I've been fiddling with things, trying to make sure the frame rate doesn't tank anymore. Mostly just making sure that I don't have Skype messages. That are effectively completely meaningless, Rob. Uh, well, okay. One more bomb is actually a really nice uh, pickup just for peace of mind. Like, if we get one more beyond this, at least we can get into Isaac's room. Magician. Not that big of a deal with Ludo anyway, but... Um, yeah, we can at least get into Isaac's room and sleep if we need to get HP back. That's, that's something that's not meaningless for us. And mostly hoping that maybe we'll have the opportunity in the future to get rid of Dead Sea Scrolls, because I... Hesitate to use it until the end of the floor. If we had more HP and maybe some spirit hearts, I wouldn't mind, because I mean that, that I mean that's probably pretty obvious, right? Like I kamikaze wouldn't completely fuck up my chances for a deal with the devil and thus possibly ruin my entire run. I think that's a pretty good reason to be wary of this item. I think we're pretty lucky with that maneuvering there to not uh, find ourselves in an awful situation. And we are great. Jesus Juice helps us out. Not totally what I want, but that's okay. Now we can go back to our curse room. Leave us at a half heart, which is a little risky. We could walk on spikes and, you know, have a 50% chance for our streak to end. Not super excited about that. This is actually a, a really nice way to handle this room. I don't mind this in the least. Much better than last time when we had to use our orbitals to deal the vast majority of our damage. Oh, you should be able to hit me, so just watch out. Item room. Some kind of HP related mutation. Man, best friend. Also pretty bad. We could use this to help with the Isaac's room stuff, but let's not. And say we did, we get hematomesis. At least, you know, again, I, it's a cliche for me at this point, but at least we gleaned some information out of that hematomesis pickup. We can use hematomesis on a, a second secret room if we can knowingly use one in the future. Can't get into this room. Can get into this room. Uh, maybe we'll try to get in at the end and buy a spirit heart. But we want to go to our curse room first. That wasn't completely obvious already. The Jesus Juice pickup, I think, has upped our damage enough that we're, like, one-shotting. Or I should say two-shotting those guys instead of three-shotting them. It's hard to say with Ludovico technique, but that's the way it feels. Oh, teleportation with Deal with the Devil and a Ghost Baby pickup that is really bad. Could have taken it for Deal with the Devil precedent, but... Do we really want the other pill that badly at this point? I think maybe the answer to that question might be no. Um, come on, break the poop here. Uh, that's what we wanted so we can buy a bomb and now get into Isaac's, uh, Isaac's room and maybe get a black market. We can also get a deal with the devil if there's a black market in that crawl space, if there is even a crawl space. Um, any, anything that causes us to trade HP for a deal is gonna be an ability for us to get that precedent. Anytime you pay HP for an item, that, you get it. Uh, you, you get the precedent, I should say. So, I'm thinking that uh, this could be a big move for us. I Maybe I should have gotten the deal with the devil precedent. This is uh, Isaac's room. I should have pushed that chest in the middle. It's a clean Isaac's room. Uh, crawl space just has umbilical cord. I'm not even going to... I know we don't have a... Uh, 
We don't have a trinket, but I'm not even going to give it the dignity of, of picking it up. We'll sleep in the bed just to see if we get something. Obviously, we don't. Um, we teleported away. And that'll, that'll be that. A little bit of a disappointing payout in some regards on this floor, but... You know, we still do have Death's Touch Ludov uh, Ludovico technique, so I'm I'm not feeling the burn too much here. A little low on consumables, but if we can only have one consumable, we definitely want it to be a key. Catacombs 2. Not uh, too attached to the caves or the catacombs at this point. I think we're fine either way. Wow. Uh, well, a Hanged Man card. Could be very, very interesting. Okay, we can't afford to take uh, damage like that. Puberty? It more the, the puberty problem is that the, the sound scares me. I always think it's going to be like a tears down, but then it's like, puberty? Oh, that's not so bad. And our item room gives us Able. Pretty shit draw, especially when we're not really going to be moving our, uh, our tears around too much. Do want Virgo there. And you know what? I would take Anarchist Cookbook over Dead Sea Scrolls at this point. You know what is it they say? The devil you know is better than the devil you don't. We didn't get Anarchist Cookbook, but I, I still feel like that would have been the right call. At least we can plan for how to use Anarchist Cookbook instead of Dead Sea Scrolls, where we don't know what, what it's going to be until we've already used it. I really, like, Dead Sea Scrolls is on my shit list. That's Virgo right there. Um, I, don't, I don't think Dead Sea Scrolls is a good item at all. Some people do disagree with me on that one, though. And I think they're entitled to. There are good reasons... Let's let's do it, okay? There are good reasons to like uh, Dead Sea Scrolls, but I, I hate the uncertainty of it. Oh, that was diagonal. Unfortunately, we're gonna get hurt on the way out, but we don't really care about our deal with the devil anymore because we're already in it right now. And we're not uh, blowing the angel out of the water here, but we're doing okay. The best part is we don't have to be on line of sight with the angel to. Uh, to do damage. We can put ourselves a little bit off uh, off kilter so we don't even risk being hit by the 45 degree angle shot. We get one part of the key piece. That's my my promise to you guys is that I will continue to, you know, give myself if I get the deal with the angel, I'll do my best to at least get the key pieces. If I don't fight Mega Satan, that's one thing, but at least give yourself the opportunity to open that door at the end. You know, make the make the angel rooms a little bit more uh, a little bit more valuable, I guess. Another key is good. Can't get into the uh, boss trap room. Life goes on. Free bomb is actually worth a lot. One thing we have been a little low on this run is consumables of literally every type. Don't forget to go back there and get Virgo. That's going to be very easy to slip your mind. Uh, oh, wow. Okay, this is huge. So we'll get that uh, for three bombs. One bomb for three bombs. And then... We got this for an Eternal Heart that we don't want to pick up yet. In a way, this is good. We're doubling down on backtracking. If I forget, it's twice the penalty. But if I don't forget... Like, this, this should incentivize not forgetting. Let's put it that way. We'll even leave that key there. Leave ourselves a little breadcrumb, breadcrumb trail. Breadcrumb trail. Man, that was not the way I wanted that to come out. But it does give me the opportunity to make another Slint reference. Which sounds dirty, but is actually just a Math Rock band. I didn't make up math rock. You're gonna call me a hipster for calling it math rock. That's what it's called. I'm sorry, okay? It's no it's no gent level bullshit. Super bandage. Huge item. We have HP. I never thought the day would come. Have we been to our item room? Yes. Have we been to our shop? Well, I mean, we can't really justify going to our shop with one cent and one key. Uh, we'll do a little bit. I didn't mean to insult gent, okay? I'm, I immediately regretted it when I said it, but... I apologize to the gent community. Um, we're ahead of schedule for boss rush, which is a little unexpected. I don't know why it's unexpected. Our damage is actually pretty okay. That's on me, I guess. It's weird. You feel, like, strangely naked when you're away from your uh, clothing. No, when you're away from your tears here. I find that when I'm not wearing clothes, I feel strangely naked. I don't like... I, I'm... I don't like being naked. I don't know what it is. You know, people are like, I like sleeping naked. You know, I like to be naked. I, I can never be a nudist. A, n a nudist. Is that the way it's pronounced? Nudist. I can never be a nudist. It was instilled in me at a young age that we should be ashamed of our bodies, and I uh, <laughs> cling to that still on an emotional level every single day. 
That's why I make sure to put on my male Spanx before I leave the house. Um, and then drape myself in a, in a burlap sack. So as not to offend others with my, with my mere existence. My flesh-based, uh, visage. I'm half-joking right now. Mostly the burlap sack part is a joke. If you're into that, that's okay. You know, you do you. Thread the needle on that one. Uh, um, now I'm hoping for a teleport card. I mean, we're gonna need more than one bomb to probably swing that, or some really lucky bomb fly explosions, but, uh, I'll take it either way. Was that not... That wasn't Virgo? Was that Scorpio? That was freaking Scorpio, you dummy. I, I will say that I should know that at this point, but also there's a few items that have shown up so rarely that I, I've kind of, like, I've forgotten more about them than I ever knew. If that makes... It doesn't really make sense, but you get the idea. Um, and Scorpio has not showed up in a while, and it does look kind of similar to Virgo. They both have kind of like that M hump in there. Please tell me, oh my god, I didn't wait for the death animation, so they're still alive. Uh, another smooth move, WarioWare. Well, we can skip that room, maybe, and get Libra instead. I don't know how this is going to work, but I'm, I'm going to take it. We'll say immediately that we are very fast. That is, that has changed. I don't know how much our damage has been affected. Seems like maybe it's a little worse. Which is to be expected, I think. Although, I think our, our like, shot speed and range were really high, so that should be compensated. You know, if everything balances up to that average, or, you know, balances to the average between them, damage might have been below the, the true mean, so... It's possible that we've, uh, we've actually gotten a little bit of a damage up. Or it's possible it hasn't changed much at all, which is really how I'm starting to think this has manifested itself. Yeah, we'll go for this. Golden chest, your cricket's head or something like that would be big. Libra's been showing up uh, fairly commonly recently. That was not very good. Uh, and I always take it, or I often take it, because I find it kind of interesting. Feels like a secret room to me. I don't know about you. I don't care about you. Oh, well, now I do. Come back, please. Uh, there we go. We'll take blank card. We'll take the spirit heart. Blank card, two of hearts is not a meaningful combination. Put this bomb here. Uh, it, it's, it's not very good. Uh, I find two of hearts actually probably pretty much doubtlessly the worst of the, the playing cards. Except for those times it can save your life. But it doesn't have like a universal use like the other cards do, where it's, it's always going to do something for you, you know? Uh, so we'll be cracking skulls like we did just there to look for an opportunity to get something a little bit more valuable. One more, I think. Still plenty of shot speed as well. Now our consumable game has been sorted. Uh, we, we'll look for skulls on the next floor. We don't immediately need one. I'm not going to overly compromise here. At least we got one there. I don't, basically, I was like, I don't want to pay one bomb for one skull. If the AI wants to pay one bomb to blow up a skull, that's fine by me. But I'm not spending my own bombs there to do it. Yeah, it's a little tricky here trying to make sure we get as much uh, coverage here as we can get. But we're almost halfway through the cage fight, and we're still ahead of schedule when it comes to boss rush. A blank card teleport would be nice. For example, perhaps a blank card joker card. But I'm thinking that there's very little chance that this is not our next win in the streak. It's looking pretty good right now. And has been for a long time. And Pentagram will just cement that. We'll skip a little bit of this floor. But we already went to our shop and bought something. Got something from our item room. Curse of Darkness is not an enormous problem here. Well, I wish I could double that pill. I'm t that's got to be an item in Rebirth, man. The placebo. Blank card, but for pills. It's like Gogurt, but to stay. So the the pentagram, mostly I'm going to be excited about the damage, but I'm also assuming, of course, that we'll have the chance, at least, if not the guarantee, to get a, uh, a deal with the angel. And I'm thinking we just blow blank card completely here. I'm not going to worry too much about due diligence, because I'm on a little bit of a timer. So I used blank card, two of hearts. And then it paid out. Okay, I was. <laughs> we actually don't have to blow it all completely here. Then I was like, I'm. If we get down to two hearts, I'm gonna pop the two of hearts and uh, go back to full HP. And you will. We'll lose the card. We'll lose the repeatability on it. But that's okay because we're very much hoping to replace it this floor anyway. And we're really ahead of schedule for boss rush. That uh, boss rush. That's a magician card. Uh, magician Ludovico is actually kind of bad, as we found out on a semi-recent run. So I'm not gonna. 
prioritize that over Two of Hearts, even if Two of Hearts is bad. You know, we don't want to replace it with a bad card. Two of Hearts, there is a situation, or a, a conceivable scenario at least, where that could save our run. So, I, I definitely want to make sure that we're doing, we're, we're paying that respect. I don't think I want anything here. Uh, they're not good enough to, to justify losing HP. I don't really want Hematomesis either. I know we could use Hematomesis to get into our boss trap room. I don't think it's worth it. Our Guppy Dream is, is a, uh, not a foregone conclusion, quite the opposite. It's, it's basically a foregone conclusion. We probably will not get Guppy here. We do have the Collar, but we're going to get Angel Rooms uh, because we have the Key Piece, or at least a much greater chance of getting Angel Rooms. We'll see. Uh, we'll see. Still hoping for Teleport. I think we don't want the Rosary. Normally, I would take the Rosary in this situation, but it would push us past the HP cap, so... You know, let's just eat shit on that item room and not have to deal with the Bible later, probably. And our shop has super greed, so we don't have to waste any time donating. Is it a blessing in disguise or, or kind of a shit draw? That's up to you. Definitely gonna stick with Bloody Penny here. This is a, a little bit of a fail safe in case I end up playing as badly as I've shown that I can. No teleport cards. Well, I think we will probably not be doing boss rush then. That's a bit of a surprise to me. Maybe I should have gotten a little bit more aggro on the skulls. And I'm not talking about Joshua Jackson. Northern Line, when will you stop using that joke that references 1999, uh, you know, Dawson's Creek era secret society film, The Skulls? Probably never. I'll Probably my last words in this mortal coil will be related to the 1998 uh, thriller, The Skulls, starring Joshua Jackson. Who is Joshua Jackson? Jack Joshua Jackson. Surprisingly difficult to say. Joshua Jackson. You may know him as uh, Charlie Conway. We gotta deal with the devil here. And we... We will take it for the precedent. Even though I don't really want it. Is there any teleport in here? Man, Cricket's body just like... I don't even think it does anything for us here. It's a disappointment and you know what? I'm starting to feel a little nervous. What would make me feel better is if we just had the ability to fly. That way we could hang out over rocks and let uh, our tier do most of the talking. Wow, this is a very convenient layout for us. Almost didn't get out of the way of that first shot there. Yeah, an extremely convenient layout for us. We'll just fight the boss right away. It is double Gertie, but it's the Gertie that only spawns enemies and doesn't actually shoot, which is really bad for him. We don't want anything up there bad enough to really work for it, so... Um, we're not gonna make great time on these Gertie fights, but... At the same time, without being able to be shot by Gertie, this fight is already over. It just, you know, we're, we're just killing time until the, the HP runs out. Bad draw for the game on that one. We've got a good chance of a deal with the Devil as a result of the, uh, as a result of the Pentagram. And now we have Precedent as well. We get Placenta. Followed by a Krampus fight. So this is our run. Uh, I will admit, between Bloody Penny, Blank Card, Two of Hearts, we've got great Red Heart potential here. But I'm, I'm disappointed that we didn't really ever get that much better than when we picked up uh, Ludovico Technique Lump of Coal. Not Lump of Coal. Ludovico Technique Death's Touch. But, I mean, that's it's a hell of a combo. It's carried us for a long time. But I really expected this run to get better at some point. Not just kind of stagnate. But if you're going to stagnate, this is a pretty good area to stagnate at, I guess. And our double key room contains five regular chests. Which will give us uh, a lot of money. We don't really want paperclip. I mean, we do, but we don't. And similarly, we can't afford to get rid of Bloody Penny. I'd love to get Ringworm. I don't even know if it would affect Ludo uh, Death's Touch. But uh, we, we can't afford to to mess with our Trinket right now. Because it could save the game for us, basically. I, I'm, you know, you, you might be thinking that I'm playing a little uh, overly conservatively right now. I'm just thinking, why mess with a good thing? We have... Uh, I, I think we're a little bit deceptively hanging by the Razor's Edge right now. Shouldn't have left that room. We were not done. The champion is dead, though. Um, now we're done. It turns out that wasn't that big of a mistake. Uh, yeah, I, I think that we're... Once these spirit hearts start to fall, we're going to see the value of this two of hearts blank card bloody penny combination. So I'm, I'm liking it. I just don't want to, you know, shoot it in the foot before it really has a chance to take off. Scratching my head a little bit here, trying to... 
trying to figure out where our next seam to pull on on this run is. And I guess it's, uh, you know, hoping for a blank card Joker combination starting on the chest. Odds of it are pretty bad, but... Apart from that, we're just, uh, you know, kind of while in the run away. We're making great time. It's not like it's been a bad run. Mostly just uh, a little bit falling under the weight of its own expectations from, from such a fast start. Close to being done. Alright, double key room. Is a full run reroll. We'll do it because I am me. It's a monstro's lung, incredibly long charge time, but the shots are Ipecac. And we have Maggie's bow, and we still have Bloody Penny as well. Uh, there's there's various problems associated with this run, which are probably extremely obvious. However, I also feel like every time we come into a boss fight, we are going to kill that boss in like one hit. So I actually think that this is a pretty good reroll. Maybe not one hit, but as you can see, we're not too far away from the truth there. We have the soul as well. I just want to maybe let Nearsighted Friend take care of some of the action here. Like, our next shot will kill the boss. So that wasn't a shit reroll. I mean, our, our initial synergy was good. This is terrible for crowd control, but really amazing on single targets with a lot of HP. Especially ones that are kind of immobile. Um, much in the way that Isaac and Blue Baby are. Should have tried to hit both at the same time. And you know what? Considering... Oh, the gas. Considering... Uh, how... We should go back for that two of hearts, but I'm a, the world's laziest man. Considering how much damage we do with one hit, the charge time is actually not that long. We're ignoring Bob's brain because uh, HP may become a little bit of an issue. I mean, yeah, being able to one hit each mega fatty here... What does it take to charge up a, a monstro's lung shot here? Like, two or three seconds? It's actually a really, really good rate of fire. Surprisingly, at least relative to our damage. Our, our actual rate of fire stat might be hot garbage, but... Alright, well, we will take that. Yes, of course. Um, can't fly over to those. And unfortunately, no way to bomb our way into this room. We know that's not going to be a secret room because of the... The um, chasms that were kind of blocking it on the other side. We may have some kind of wafer as well. I always need to... I should say I always forget to, because that's the real truth of it. But I should check next time we take damage. Yeah, we only took a half heart. So I'm pretty sure we've got the wafer. That seems to happen a lot on rerolls as well. Which is great. Have to keep in mind, though, um, we do have Shielded Tears Ipecac, which is a real risk. Can be awesome. Can also be terrible. Make sure you got a full charge before you cancel your shot. That's like Ipecac 101 or Monstro's Lung 101. Yeah, this is... We're, we're carried. This is fine. Even a Tinted Rock over here. And the Secret Room. Okay. Well, that puts to bed looking for, like, special areas for our Secret Room to be. And Blue Baby's Soul is not that important. What if we have the Miter? It seems like we're getting a decent number more Spirit Heart drops than you'd normally expect. There's our second secret room, and Fish Head. Our flies would do a lot of damage, but I think we still gotta keep uh, Bloody Penny just to insulate us. And this is actually really good. That was not good damage. Uh, we must have Virgo, or, or actually Celtic Cross. But we finished this fight in two hits. Okay, if we lose this one... We don't deserve to have this streak. This was one of the better rerolls I've ever seen. Initially was a little disappointed, but no, this this is saved. Well, our run was still good, but it's it's helped. Saved is not the right word. We get the relic. We get little haunts. We get mom's bottle of pills, which gave us puberty, and we get bum friend. Not an incredible haul, but uh, not complete dog shit. Yeah, being able to one shot the dark one is also pretty indicative of having a great run. Don't know what our luck stat is like. Doesn't really matter. This is usually a room, yeah, you see enemies on the right side when you start. Um, usually, I, I was considering that it would probably be double or triple bloat or something, but I think triple bloat's only on the dark room. If it even is on the... I think it's on the dark room. Another spirit heart. That's the relic in action. We should blow this guy up just in case... He has something of value. I'm not even going to pick up the money. We'll seed that there in the hopes of getting, uh, you know, visited by the, the god of good uh, 
fiscal responsibility on the next floor. On the next run, I should say. Next floor is basement one if things go right. Alright, let Revenge Fly take care of that. And rooms like this are not going to be a problem. As long as we can just kill every enemy in one hit, life is good, and we're just waiting for Blue Baby to show up. Bit of a waste here, but that's okay. Hopefully we get, like, um... I don't know, balls of steel? Puberty is probably not the pill I'm looking for. I don't know what pill I'm looking for. Telepills? Telepills error room through the chest again. Hopefully get good items. Not that we need them, but we might as well. If we're gonna ball, we might as well ball out of control. You know, I've already contributed... Or I've already, uh, committed myself to the balling. Said balling. Why don't you let, uh, your familiars take care of that just so you don't have to charge up another shot. Wastefully. Please. Nearsighted friend. There we go. We'll let our orbital do it. I didn't really want to handle it that way, but what can I say? A little bit... Old habits die hard. We played that orbital game last time, and, uh... I'm happy to stick with it this time as well. I don't know who's gonna die first. Okay, we did kill Sloth last, which allows us to get Bob's Rotten Head. Is it better than the bottle of pills? It doesn't matter. We we spit explosions. Like, Dylan spit hot, spits hot fire. That joke failed under its own weight there. Um... We don't need to worry about. That was what I. That was what I get for trying to stick with the cool kids and their new nomenclature. What is this hot fire? Is all fire not hot? I don't get it. Contribute to your RRSPs. Uh, we don't want technology. That's just gonna. That's just gonna bum us out at this point. RRSP is a Canadian uh, governmentally uh, advocated, created uh, retirement fund. You contribute to it, and then your your dollars go in tax free. But you get taxed on them when they come out. It's just, it's fiscally responsible to, to contribute to that if possible. I've been told, at least. People smarter than myself. Yeah, we're in no risk of dying here. I don't know why I was backing up, like we're in a terrible position. Um, we'll, we'll take whatever damage we need to take to get in there and, and, you know, destroy Blue Baby. And that's another win, and it was a fun win as well. I had a good time. Hope you did too. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the run. If you did, click the like button. Helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.